Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Fatal Frame 4. We are playing as Choshiro Kirishima. He has come to this hospital. Hmm, can't get back out. He has come to this hospital to look for Ruka. We've already encountered two ghosts simultaneously. But we've only just entered, so we're going to see what happens as we advance. Notes on wandering. Do not. Oh, no, there's more to it. Regarding Luna Sedata Syndrome patients, please take notes on the nighttime wandering habit of patients. Contact me today to confirm the suspected... are no interferences... Okay, with the treatment process. That just came out weird. On the night of the full moon, close and bar the doors. I also request a strengthening of patrol around the wards. Thank you. Sounds like I highlighted something. I guess I could probably get to the other side. Phone? No? Okay. Huh? Wait, where? Ooh. How bizarre. Well, I guess that's where they found the girls? Yeah. How much you want to bet the whole goal is to get that stupid elevator to work? Oh! Hello, hello? <laughs> no. <sighs> Fatal Frame just keeps doing that. You look there and they're gone. Now, let's see, I fought a few ghosts. Hello? Madoka on the bed. Thinking of her lost memories. Is she returning from Misaki? Peking girl. Merciless brutality shows on her face. The nurse calling for Ayako was in charge of the patient. She's terrified of having her mind destroyed by the sickness. The girl dragging the nurse. Ayako in the process of a special treatment. She likes nothing more than to play with and destroy her toys. Creepy. Katsuhito Karia, long-suffering patient, he can't recognize himself anymore. Ugh. Looks like I didn't get his blooming picture. I got Yoriko, and her blooming picture. Ugh. Sanai, a native of the island, she became insane at the... I don't know, now she attacks everyone, hoping to inflict her own suffering on them. Ayako. Ugh, those eyes. She finds pleasure in breaking her toy. She's aiming the new plaything and just entered the room. That's us! Alright, we're done here. Now let's see. Increase stats. I only have seven crystals. Oh! Increase the amount of points received for chaining attacks. That's a really good deal. Just points. Lenses, this one can't even be enhanced. No need for that. Okie dokie. Anyway, I was gonna go back here. I'm pretty sure I. Yeah, there's an item behind that counter. Can I get in there? No? Wonder how I get behind there. There's probably a path somewhere. The reception desk is open. Yeah, how do I get behind the desk? Shelf? No? Hmm. Oh well. How about around the left? This little corridor here. Probably locked. Whoa. Looks like a face, man. It's creepy. Yeah, locked. I suspected as much. And this time the game goes ahead and tells me it's locked. Well, I guess I'll go the way the game wants me to go. Elevator's obviously gonna be locked. Just just an old elevator. So do I go around to the right or do I take the stairs? Guess I'll go this way. Just goes on to a dead end, okay. Let's check the door. Maybe this is behind the reception desk. Really? Okay, I guess we're going upstairs. Didn't leave me with much choice. I'm glad this guy can actually move. 
He's still slower than most Fatal Frame characters, but after those girls, this is a real refreshing change of pace. Literally. I'm kind of surprised the Vanishing Ghost didn't appear. So there's a door, there's the elevator. Huh? Oh, damn it. I don't need these doors baiting me with terror. There's a boarded up door. Yeah, not going that way. Predictably, nothing in here. Gotta say, this is probably the most linear fatal frame. There's a double door. How much you want to bet it's locked? Yeah. If there if there's no slow reach and loading time, the damn thing's locked. Gotta say, not the hardest fatal frame to figure out. Good for me. Can't even examine this thing from up here. Down the hall, still not. Oh, there's an item actually. One blue crystal. Is there a way to get like 15 of those things? Because, like, I can't do anything. Well, this door must open. Are you. What? Do I go back downstairs? Oh I, oh, I didn't try this door. Duh. There we go. Huh. I was wondering if I would hold it down if it would stay targeted, but no, it releases automatically. chart for Asagi Hizuki. Or maybe it's Hizuki. A medical chart. Age 6. From the typical behavior of being frightened of mirrors and the reported symptoms of memory impairment, she has diagnosis is lunus adapta syndrome. The degree of the condition is severe. There are plans to perform a surgical procedure next week in red. This is going to be bad. The surgery has been performed twice in other severe patients, but no conclusion has been reached as to its effectiveness. As an early treatment method of the syndrome, the surgery will be performed regardless, and the details will be recorded in a report at a later date. Please ensure confidentiality of the above information for the sake of the patient and her family. Or, you know, just leave it lying around for a guy like me. Now, what's up with that moon phase? Is that, like, my recharge for my flashlight? I guess. That's pretty creative. I like it. Medical charts. Someone's x-ray. I want to get behind there pick up that item, but you know I'm going to get jumped. Oh. Note. My achievements studying cranial nerves were finally recognized, and I was appointed assistant to Dr. Hybara at the hospital. He's the leading researcher on Luna Sedata Syndrome, which is a memory loss condition particular to this island. As far as I can learn from the available materials, it's a mental disorder consisting of memory defects and other symptoms like sleepwalking. But many things about it are shredded in mystery. Why is it limited only to this island? What causes it? These questions are still to be discovered. Hybara's approach to the syndrome is unique, and many of his treatments are unprecedented. Among his original methods is music therapy that makes use of a so-called lunar melody, which I feel will cause a stir in the world of psychoanalysis. What's truly fascinating is how this research does not only lead to a method of treating mental illness, but also advances the theory that memories can influence the soul. To work under Hybara is surely a valuable experience that I never could have had on the mainland. Still, I get the feeling that Hybara is one of those psychotic geniuses. Kathakiri he must be the assistant. Doctor migrated from somewhere, worked on Luna Sedata, surgery treatment, that's pretty much it. Okay. And I get jumped now? No. Oh, there is a mirror. I don't like that. I'll get jumped when I pick it up. How about that? No? Good. Oh, hello. You thought you could hide from me, huh? 
Does that count? Maybe not. Hmm. Maybe I need the actual camera obscura. Still, this is an exorcismal flashlight, so you never know. There's a ton of freaking loading time for that door. What the hell? What, do I have like 200 ghosts in here? Ugh. A patient room. This place is gonna suck, isn't it? Uh-oh. I can't see her. I lost her. Uh, guess I can't get to that doll, huh? There's an item nearby? I saw an item somewhere. I clearly highlighted it, but where? On the other side? There it is. Why have I not been jumped yet? Picture diary. The day before yesterday they did the surgery. There was a person who got worse after the surgery, so I at first refused. But the doctor said it's okay. Oop, 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 sorry, sorry. Since the operation, my brain has turned red? What? It hurts so much I can't stand it. Afterward, my hair was gone. Blood flows along with the tears. It's okay. My head's now red and it seems to be melting. My head is now red and it seems to be melting. It's okay if it melts. Screw this. Yeah, I'm never capturing that guy. Guess I gotta run after him. Bottles of stuff, don't know what they're used for. Oh good, a wheelchair. That's what I want to see in a Fatal Frame game. Nothing even slightly scary about those. But we've been over that. I highlighted something. Ugh, not going through that yet. There's the doll. I wonder if I could do anything about it. Like, will this count? I wonder. Yeah, it is glowing. See how it goes purple? Aha! So it does work. Well, this is a good thing. I would like a save point, though. Oh, nuts. Tell me the item isn't back in there. <sighs> One second. I'm sorry. But items are good. Aha. See, it didn't take that long. Red crystal. You know, the things that I don't really have a use for, at least at this point in time. But hey, every item's good. Here's what I don't want to say. I'm gonna get. Can't believe I wasn't startled. Is this a secret passageway? Maybe. It's a dead end. Which is a good or. Well, it could be either good or bad. Yep, here we go. Was I in range? Yes. Oh, smoking area! A thousand points? He really lasted. I like that. Are you a key to something, please? Okay. Surgery prep room. Good. I was just gonna say. Oh, back at the entrance hall. Good! So I have to go back to the save point. It appears to be the key to the first floor. Bingo. Now let's see if I get jumped on the way out. This is a largish room. I'm expecting it. It is cool how he pushes the curtain aside. I suppose in previous games you just kind of barrel through it. I, I really like little changes like... <laughs> right, seriously, why is it not holding the button down is what I want to know. Am I, am I doing something wrong? Holy crap. Hold on, I feel like such a fool, but give me a second. 
I'm gonna look at the damn tutorial for the flashlight, because I'm apparently a failure at this. Thanks. Uh, taking hint photos, spirit stone flashlight. Yeah, press the A button, release it to discharge. Is there something wrong with, like, my A button or something? Huh. Let's try it again. Really hold it down. I don't understand. I don't get it. It shouldn't even be happening. Unless there's something wrong with the phase of the moon. Maybe that's what it is. It did say the flashlight was powered by spirit stones. Let's find out what happens. Let's see. Did that do anything? <laughs> Clearly something's wrong with my flashlight. Huh. Items? Enhanced basic performance, yeah. It says it uses light stored in spirit stones. But like... Uh, like, what do you want me to do? Did I, like, break the flashlight? This is a bit disconcerting, gotta say. And I still don't get that gauge in the lower part of the screen. Is that, like, my charge? Or what? Ever? Yeah, seriously, why is it doing absolutely nothing? It's not going purple or anything. I don't get it. I mean, I'm clearly draining my gauge when I use it. And it does regenerate ultra slowly. Oh, really? While I'm opening the door? That's not nice. Screw this, I'm out of here. Woohoo! Just kidding. Now I'm out of here. Oh no, loading time, while there's a ghost attacking. I don't get it. I'm very disappointed. Do I need like a full meter or something? What do you want from me? I also lost out my picture opportunity. Huh. Whoa! Well, I got him. Huh. Oh, and the phone. Oh good, so it's all God's Village. This place sucks. What did I highlight? Uh, yeah, behind their desk. Oh, I guess now I can go through that door. Now how about that flashlight? Do I need to go like in a lit area for this to work? Like, I don't understand. I beat the crap out of the ghosts that other time. It looks like I'm at full capacity, but I couldn't take a picture. In any case, I'm saving. Don't know how far I'm going to get with this one. I'm already 20 minutes in. We'll see what happens. Powered by spirit stones, but like... What? Oh, well, I have my key. Might as well use it. Was that not the room? Whoops, opposite side. I would make that mistake. Oh, duh, that's the way the ghost was going. Shows what I know. I was just wandering around working on my light. 
Okay, hospital prep room it is. Let's see how scary this ends up being. Ugh. Great, a flickering light in a hospital. Well, it goes to a dead end. And it may or may not lead to the operating theater. Probably does. Uh, what the hell? Cemetery, really? Am I doing this? I might just take care of the prep room and then go back and save and quit. Blue crystal times five. That's more like it. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Whoa. Holy crap. Disappearances. Darkness closes in on the case of mysterious disappearances. It's been half a year since the Islanders occurred. Yeah. The case is closed and falling into oblivion, but when we ourselves went out to investigate, a history of darkness emerged that could be the key to solving this mystery. Diseases. We first turn our attention to the Sedata Syndrome that exists only on the island. Talking to a medical specialist, we learn that it's a kind of memory loss characterized by symptoms. We've been over this. Second coming of the disaster action to the history. According to folklorists familiar with the island's history, the syndrome has been feared on the island as a contagious disease since ancient times. Furthermore, there's a long tradition of large numbers of islanders being spirited away. A group case of the syndrome? What if, for whatever reason, the syndrome were to spread among a large group? The island's fully surrounded by the sea, so it's not difficult to imagine what would happen to a person wandering around robbed of his senses. Tourism affected. An unusual festival is performed on the island to soothe the ghosts of those that have been spirited. At the time of the incident, concerns were voiced about efforts to draw in tourists for the Kagura. Death of the last witness. The last survivor, a girl, took her last breath at the hospital some days ago. What did the girl who kept muttering mother on her deathbed see? Only Rogetsu Island knows the answer. On that island, now, the answer will remain shrouded in mystery. That seriously was a Silent Hill effect, that freaking locker. Red crystals again. Oh! Ha ha ha! Hello, hello! Good. Better. Alright, this is the next room I'm gonna do. Then, no matter if the next door is unlocked or not, I'm just going back and saving. Because it's getting toward the uh, half hour mark here. Oh boy. Oh man, I do not want this. <laughs> Crap. Oh. Well, alright. Beautiful. Also creepy as hell. Uh, I'm just looking for an item. Sorry, that's why I'm flipping out. Drugs. Good, I can't examine the body. Thank God. You know something's going to happen with it anyway. Can I see under it? Not really. Yo, this place sucks. A lot. Oh, I can. Oh, hell no. Hell no. You are some kind of idiot. <coughs> Nothing under it? Ooh. Damn it. You had to disturb the dead. Alright, no, seriously, why does my flashlight not work? This is killing me here. This might be a real problem. Alright. Wait a minute. I'm a complete idiot. Remember how I equipped that lens that allowed me to take pictures without damaging things? Could I really be that stupid? Yeah, but... Uh, I wonder if that makes a difference. Let's see if that makes a difference. I hope it does. Uh -huh. 
I'm an idiot. But I feel a lot better knowing it's not my hardware problem. Can't hide forever, little girl. What's that? You want me to play with you? <laughs> oh, baby. Do it again. Oh, did you see your health? It was nothing. Next thing I do is gonna freaking ruin her day. Probably not gonna appear that way. Yep. Oh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be special. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, did I break your concentration? Oh god, diary number two, this will be pleasant. I said not, but he doesn't listen. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts. The doctor will do surgery again tomorrow. I don't want the surgery. Stupid surgery. More surgery. More surgery tomorrow. I hate the surgery. It hurts. Stupid surgery. It hurts, it hurts. The surgery hurts. It hurts. It hurts. So much fun. Okay. The fun's when it's fun, but hurts it. Jesus Christ. Screw this. <laughs> Ugh. What kind of freaking psychotic laboratory do we have here? So I actually could have beaten the other ghost. I feel a little silly now. What is that, hair? A post-mortem certificate. Surprise, surprise. Circumstances of death. Symptoms rapidly deteriorated during a second post-op surgery for the Sedata treatment. At midnight, she suddenly entered a state of confusion. The doctor provided first aid with sedation, but it proved ineffectual. She died shortly thereafter. Cause of death unknown. Thought to be from rapid worsening of the illness, accompanied by a general physical frailty. Uh, yeah. Here's an idea. Go back to the save point and do not go that way. <laughs> because that way is the archives, which is actually less scary than this room. And the back door. Ugh. What is this, the freaking end of Fatal Frame 2? To the cemetery? How much you want to bet the freaking gravestone turns around and you could go underground? Yeah, no. I'm going to go backward now. Thank you very much. This thing's covered with dark stains. Yeah, let's go ahead and go. This is the way I came, right? Yes, okay. I know it's really tempting to go on, but you know it's going to take forever. So, um, I'm doing both, uh, well, honestly, I can't speak for you, but I'm at least doing me a favor. Because otherwise I'll be here all night. Wait a second. I took the photo, but didn't do damage. Does it still count for the record? Huh? Assistant heading to the theater. Man serving as assistant, joined the operating theater. Operating doctors. Performing surgery on the girl with a syndrome. Resignation and pain can be seen in the doctor's eyes. Assist in the smoking area. He questions the legitimacy of his conduct. Good move, man. You are not being legitimate. Asagi herself. Unable to go out. She's very lonely. And something fell out. Her probably hair, a long hair fell out because of her medical treatments. Poor kid. Huh. Oh well. And we have nine dolls. Turns out we collect dolls now. Ugh, I hate this hallway. Freaky. Let's get the hell out of here. It is too bad. I would have liked to have beaten that other ghost, but then again, points are only good for buying stuff. I gotta find my spirit stones. And here's my save point. Good old safe point. You never let me down. Should I buy anything? Eh, what the hell. Whatever, I got 130,000 points to burn. Okay. And you know what? The last thing I'm going to do is check my notebook. My handy dandy, bing, notebook. Asagi herself. Age 6, symptoms rapidly worsened, died after operation. Yu Haibara was involved in a similar incident. And then Case, Islander's Case. Many Islanders died of suspected epidemic, remaining Islanders went missing. That sounds bad all around. 
So far, Choshiro's kind of a badass. I like this guy. He ain't afraid of no ghosts. Except for when he forgot to take the damn no damage lens off. Don't I feel silly? But, oh well. All's well that ends well. And with that, I can cut off the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We explored a little more of the hospital, we actually got a key to the downstairs, and now we're entering the real hospital area. The surgery room? That place was creepy. I hope this place doesn't get all Silent Hill on us, like, more so than before. I guess we're going to see what happens when we actually continue going down that back path, and maybe even run to the cemetery. What horrors lie in store for us there? I don't know. That's what this game is all about, discovery. Until next time, everyone.